Hello? Hi, this is Marco from Airlines. I was looking for Jeff. Yep, this is him. Wonderful. Jeff, I'm the supervisor on call, and we got a message that you wanted to speak with a manager about an issue you were having. Yeah, I had a problem two weeks ago with my flight. Uh huh. And what seemed to be the issue? Well, the gate agent, who was extremely rude, her name was Kate. I was just trying to upgrade my flight, and she was just, it was outrageous. I uh-huh. couldn't believe it. Okay, I'm sorry. Can I put you on hold for a second? Um, sure. I'm, I'm not wearing underwear. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I'm not wearing any underwear right now. You can't see me over the phone, but I just got a weird situation here. Just give me two seconds. I'll hop right back on with you. But I am concerned about your complaint, so just hold off for me one second. I got to fix something real quick. Okay, thanks. Hi, uh, Jeff. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about the whole no underwear comment. <laughs> well, you know how it can be sometimes, right? Um, I don't really know what you're talking about. Are yeah. you? Can we talk about this complaint? Yes, we can. Like I said, just had to fix that unfortunate little snafu, and now we're good. <laughs> Sorry. Like I was saying, the gate agent, Kate, wouldn't look me in the eye they were treating know. me like I was garbage. Really? And I was just trying to upgrade my phone. Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, ow. Hello? Oh, just hold on for one second, please. Okay, I'll be right back. What is happening? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, you still Hello? there? You still there? Ow. Ah. Yeah, what's going on? I am so sorry. Uh... <laughs> Like I said, I care about your complaint. I just, I poked myself in the nipple with a pencil. A sharp one, too. Ah. Uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, my oh, God. My... Okay. Are you ready? Are you okay? Is this... Well, yeah, I'm ready, but my nipple is just throbbing right now. Ow. Ooh. Okay. This is too much information, oh, man. Gosh. I don't know what company you guys are running over there. Can I'm I, calling to make a complaint. Jeff, can I tell you something in confidence? Ooh, ah, nipple pain. Ow. Can I tell you something in confidence? I guess at this point you've already told me that you're not wearing underwear and that your nipple's throbbing. So. Yeah, throbbing. What do you want to tell me? Well, I'm actually f- full on naked right now. Oh my God. Yeah, you see, I'm a supervisor, so I can work from home a few times a month. So I'm just... Stark naked talking to well, you. That's well, why. Well, why are you telling me this? What's happening? Well, be, you know, because I, I had these issues. I know it's weird things to bring up. So I wanted to explain to you why all this stuff is going on so I can better handle your complaint. I'm naked. <laughs> Super naked. Look, I don't need to know any of this. I need you to handle my complaint. All right. Now you know, this is getting too absurd. That feels good, Jeff. What feels good? Well, I've never admitted to anybody on the phone before that I'm naked when I take a lot of customer service calls. It feels nice to to get that oh out there. This is the most ridiculous company ever. Like, how are you even saying any of this to me? Well, because I can trust you. I feel like, you know, you know you something about you. Me, so- you don't even know who I am. I've never even met you. What do you mean? Well, I'm calling to make a complaint. Okay, that's not true. That's not true because I've looked up your mileage account for this call. I've seen where you've flown. I know your wife's name, your kids' names. I feel like we're friends now. We've bonded on a different level. I mean, You're delusional. We are not friends. Oh. You're a supervisor. I'm making a complaint. Why are we well, even having this conversation? Okay, now I'm well, even more mad. Okay, well, because I felt comfortable with you, comfortable enough to share that I am all the way naked. <laughs> and that's why I hurt my nipple. And that's why I had that other situation that I didn't talk to you fully about. But, there, you know. No. We, no. Yes. No, that happened. Yeah. No, I don't want to talk about whatever's okay. happening with you and whatever you're doing over there. Okay. Okay. I can understand that. I mean, do you want to get back to talking about your complaint? I don't know. You sound like you're crazy. Whoa. So I don't even know if you're able to accomplish what I no. called to accomplish. I'm not crazy. I'm just naked. <laughs> and that should be a quote somewhere, shouldn't it? <laughs> Are you sh- I'm putting that on my headstone when I pass. I'm not crazy. I'm just naked. That's funny. It's funny the kind of conversations you have. I don't know why this is happening. I thought the airlines were screwed up, but this this is too far. Why are you even working for a company, man? Well, I'm, I'm not actually working for the airline, so that's... What? But I am naked. But this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you and your wife Elaine set you up. What? Are you serious? Yes, it's a prank phone call. 
Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your wife told me that you were upset at the airline and she wanted to play a joke on you. But I, I am naked right now, though. That's the <laughs> truth. The whole truth. Oh. No. <laughs>